There's something about spending day in and day out 24 seven with your subjects and seeing the highest highs and the lowest lows. We're just trying to give people access to that experience beyond just a talking heads expert. The Trade is a multi-part documentary series for Showtime about the heroin epidemic. From the production and distribution in Mexico, to law enforcement, to those struggling with addiction and their families that are affected by it. We wanted to be as close and intimate with our characters as possible. Doing that, we needed something that was small, that was unobtrusive, and allowed us to keep the human connection that we established over time with our subjects. And so we chose to use the C300 Mark II. We went with the EF lenses, the 17-55 to and the 24-105. to With those two lenses, you have pretty much the entire range that you would need, and you can carry all of it on your person for an entire day. Each team had a 24 mil prime F14 in case we were up against extreme darkness. If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? We set up this camera package on Cartel Land, the same package on City of Ghosts, and the same one on the trade. We find that this has worked the best for this type of storytelling, and so we're gonna keep sticking with it. We wanted the look and the lighting of the series to be as natural as possible. All of our interviews were either done with natural light or using the Astra for just a little lift or as a key. We didn't really want to fake the environment. A lot of that plays into, again, the choice of using the C300 as our camera. It's impressive how clean the camera is at that high ISO. It just added that little bit of extra texture to the grit and the reality of where we were. I was shooting the addiction and family storylines, and this was definitely a challenging environment to be in. So. One scene that stands out was when Skylar Walton comes home. He had been using, and a screaming match breaks out with his family to the point where they have to kick him out and call the police. That scene went all over the house, and it's difficult to follow that action, but you have to be as hidden and unobtrusive as possible in those moments because it's a really raw scene that's unfolding. This is not an easy thing for someone to make the decision to say, I'm gonna put my life on camera for the world to see. But they have a story to tell, and it's an important story. We want to share with other people so that they have a better understanding of, of what a lot of people across the country are going through.